Hey guys, this is Illusionist Jason Bishop. I am back with another piece of magic. In this case, Joseph Gabriel shows why he is definitely a champion of magic while performing on the TV show Champions of Magic, which like totally makes sense. Before we get started, I've been a professional illusionist since before things were stranger. That's only like four years though. I've performed for colleges and theaters across the United States, been featured on national and international television, and had two successful runs in New York City. And now I'm between shows, rehearsal, traveling, working on new magic, and snacking between meals. I pull up videos like this, and I give you some thoughts on them as a professional illusionist. In this case, we're checking out an absolute master of bird magic, Joseph Gabriel. This clip of his act is from the late 90s TV special, Champions of Magic. Joseph's act in this clip is flawless, as it always was, and he actually achieved a lot in his career, including Vegas and New York City residencies, countless TV appearances, including seven performances on The Tonight Show, and he also did a command performance for President Ronald Reagan, among many other career highlights. So let's check out an absolute master at what he does, Joseph Gabriel. My family have always been fans of magic, and when my mother and father were married, they selected a magician to entertain their wedding guests, a man who had perfected an entirely new form of magical artistry, the manipulation of live birds, his name, Channing Pollock. This is a very special moment, because here with me is the legendary Channing Pollock. You know, your parents' wedding wasn't the only time I performed here in Monaco. It wasn't? No. Prince Rainier and Princess Grace really did love magic. And I was invited back to the palace to perform for royal birthday parties. Wow, that was you? Well, our next performer carries a torch lit by you many years ago. Let's Their family was so successful that they had Channing Pollock, the original goat dove performer. Uh, he didn't perform with goats, but he was the goat of dove performers. Perform at their birthday parties. That's kind of insane. He was actually a legit uh, film star in Europe, I believe it was mainly. But he was like this super good looking dude and stuff. So he, he did really well in film, I guess, for a while. But he was a legit magician. And in fact, people like Lance Burton, Joseph Gabriel, a lot of the guys of just the last you know, 20, 30 years were inspired by Channing Pollock. And what's crazy is when you saw him make those two, uh, do that double dove appearance, the two doves that appeared like that, he's considered one of the pioneers of that type of magic for sure. And but what catches you when you see his performances, and I may do a video on that sometime, is how smooth he was as one of the OG original dove performers. You see guys today that still aren't that smooth, frankly, and the person most like Channing Pollock is probably uh, Lance Burton, who was highly influenced by him and kind of wanted to be quite a bit like him. But his technique, I mean, Lance's technique is just as smooth maybe as Channing Pollock's, but Channing was so slow and deliberate and just borderline flawless. And I think one of the other people that we're about to see, Joseph Gabriel, is also up there with the just absolute you know, silky smooth, you know, just so smooth and, and just flawless. So let's check out Joseph Gabriel. Watch Joseph Gabriel. Great opener. Very smooth, very visual, that dove split, just perfection.
Love that. Even the silk appearing was so visual. That's interesting. That's a um, dove vanish right there. Obviously, it transformed into a silk in this particular case. So he tosses the dove up in the air. In midair, it turns into the silk and flutters down, and he grabs it. What's interesting is that that's credited to two different people. Some people credit it to Channing Pollock. Some people credit it to General Grant. I think the bulk of people credit it to Channing Pollock, who's sitting in the audience there. But what's kind of like a what I've heard about that story of the evolution of that particular trick is that at the time, as a as a young young guy. Uh, uh, and, and just starting off in magic and in his life, Channing Pollock lived in a small trailer. He wanted to toss a bird up in the air and turn it into this silk and have it flutter down. You wanna do this from the front, you know, like shoulders to the audience as such, but it was so narrow apparently in the trailer that it, he was in, he had to turn to the side in order to accomplish this piece of magic. This is how the sort of legendary story goes. And so it's stuck that he turned to the side to throw the, the bird into the air just because he couldn't stand straight on and kneel that way. He had to, to turn to the side to the uh, sort of narrow corridor of the trailer. And so people like Joseph Gabriel and other people do it for that reason. There may very well be other reasons, I'm sure, but that is sort of a folklore story about how he developed that. And it probably is true because there are so many uh, different things that you have to modify for your conditions in magic or any performance to some degree, you know, like the evolution of uh, what is it, river dance, that kind of dance, you know, has some interesting origin stories, supposedly, you can look it up. But uh, let's get back into it. Really visual stuff, so smooth. This dude is, you know, Joseph Gabriel is so freaking smooth, man. But let's go back into it. You gotta love the little salute from Joseph Gabriel. I mean, that's a true nod to Channing Pollock. I mean, it's just, there are some people in magic that you just have so much respect for and Channing Pollock for certainly bird magicians and a lot of stage performers. He is the absolute OG goat. I mean, you have to have a lot of respect for him as a, as a performer for sure. So a lot of what you see today in, in dove magic just basically comes from Channing Pollock, comes down from there. And and there's been advances, obviously, there's new techniques and things, but if you were as smooth as Channing Pollock today, you'd still be a really good magician today. That's how good he was. Wow, that was wonderful. Channing, can you show me how it's done? Princess, your wish is my command. Ah, oh, that is so good and so smooth and so magical. Joseph Gabriel is one of those guys when I was growing up that you basically were like, I can be a really good dove magician and, and I did dove magic and I won some competitions with it and stuff, but you were like, I'm never gonna be as good as Joseph Gabriel. Like Joseph Gabriel is just like this ridiculous level of sophistication and smoothness and capability and technique. You know, some of the stuff you just, you don't even know where people learn it when you're younger like that. You cannot imagine where people even learn these techniques. And you could see that his character on stage was like, came off a little bit cocky in a way, but you know what? This stuff is so hard that if you get to a level where you make it look easy and almost effortless like that, your character could kind of have some cockiness and it would be accepted because it's really clear to the audience that what he's doing is really good. So all of that frankly makes sense to me. There's obviously a lot of shows that he's done because to get to that level of just 
self-assuredness and smoothness on stage. That takes a lot of shows under your belt. That takes a lot of things going wrong and learning from them. A lot of practice and hours just, you know, getting better and better and better until you're that assured. I also like with Joseph Gabriel too, he really mixed up his techniques tremendously. He's using a ton of different techniques and he's also got a routine where the last prop is incorporated into the next trick and then smoothly moves into the next piece after that. And I can't get into technical things, obviously I never do that, but that act is quite plotted out and he's thinking very, very far ahead of what you see him doing at that time. Obviously, it's a completely routined piece. You know, that's why we call it a routine because it's routined, obviously. And so he knows where he's gonna be down the road. He knows what the setup is for the next thing as such. But I mean, just such a flawless performer and performance. Watching Joseph Gabriel as a magic performer is always a lesson. You know, there's so much going on there and he's so smooth and so good. And so I'm glad I got to see this and watch it with you guys like I kind of always Always say but I genuinely mean that because I don't really watch things on here that I don't like myself frankly and then I get to share that with you guys thank you guys very much for watching this video if you liked it please destroy the like button if you want to see more hit subscribe and hit the bell to get notified when new videos are released and we'll see you in the next one